Hello everyone, welcome back to Shabes Online Tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to find the maximum likelihood of a binomial distribution. And a binomial distribution, the distribution function of x, x is distributed binomial into the parameter what n comma p. And what the function probability of x is equal to x, which is the same as what n combination x, p raised to the power of x, q raised to the power of what n minus a, n minus x and x is reduced from 0 1 then up to n so this is a distribution function of a binomial so what do we do we are taking the we are looking for the one maximum likelihood of this function what are we going to do the first thing we are going to do is to take the likelihood so we take the likelihood of what probability which is likelihood of what probability of x is equal to x which is the same as what which is equal to what the likelihood as i raises from 1 to n of what the distribution function which is n combination x p raised to the power of x q raised to the power of n minus x so we can put it in the bracket okay so the likelihood of probability of x is equal to x which is equal to i'm going to take the likelihood of each time so the first one is likelihood of n combination x which is the same as what likelihood as i raises from 1 to n then n combination x plus when you take this likelihood if you use it to multiply any variable this x here s a is going to give us summation so we're going to have what p raised to the power of our summation of si then plus what also if we multiply this variable here it's going to still give us a summation of n minus x but mind you when this is multiplying a constant it's going to give us n but if it's multiplying a variable it's going to give us summation of that variable so this is going to be what q raised to the power of summation and n minus x so what do we, is the next thing we are going to do? So the next thing is to take the logarithm of both sides. So we take the log of probability, so log of likelihood of probability of x is equal to x, which is the same as, then also we take the log of likelihood as i raises from 1 to n, n combination x plus what? p raised to the power of summation of x i plus q raised to the power of summation of n minus x so what do we do next next is to simplify so log of likelihood or probability of x is equal to x which is equal to when you take the log of this we are going to have log of likelihood as i reaches from 1 to n n combination x then plus if you take the log of this, we are going to have what log of what p raised to the power of x i then plus what log of q log of q raised to the power of what summation as n minus x. So the next thing we are going to simplify log of likelihood or probability of x is equal to x, which is the same as what log of likelihood as i raises from one to n n combination x then plus remember one of the property of logarithm see log p to the power of summation of x so this power here can come back to multiply the log according to one of the property of logarithm so this is going to be what summation of xi log p then plus also the same thing this power is going to multiply the log we are going to have a summation as n of n minus x then log q but recall that q this q here is the same as what one minus probability of sources so q is the same as one minus p so in place of q here we are going to replace one minus p in bracket is the same as q so what is the next thing we are going to do is to differentiate both sides with respect to parameter p so we are going to take the derivative of log of log likelihood or probability of what x is equal to x with respect to p which is the same as then when we differentiate this remember there's no p here so all this time here is going to be zero then plus when you differentiate this we are going to have summation of x y over p the logarithm is going to cancel then plus what also if you differentiate this we are going to have summation of 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 n minus x 
over the log is going to cancel then one minus p is going to come down so this is the derivative of these two then with respect to p then remember we are differentiating with respect to p then we differentiate inside this bracket minus p if you differentiate minus p is going to be minus one so the derivative of log of likelihood of probability of x is equal to s with respect to p is going to be zero which is equal to what summation of x i over p negative multiplied by plus is going to be what negative then summation and of what n minus x over what one minus p so what is the next thing we are going to do we're going to bring this one back we're going to have a summation of what n minus x over one minus p you know when this negative cross this equality sign is going to turn to positive plus this is going to remain there which is summation of x i over p so the next thing we're going to do is to cross multiply so this multiply by this then this multiply by this so we're going to have what summation of what x multiplied by one minus p which is equal to p multiplied by summation of n minus x all in the bracket now we're going to simplify this summation of x multiplied by one is going to give us summation of x then summation of s multiplied by minus p is going to give us minus summation of xp then which is equal to p into the bracket first of all we simplify this but recall that this x here you are seeing this summation here we are seeing raises from what zero to n so if you remember x starting from zero to n so summation as x is raised from zero to n is the same as what n so n multiplied by n is n square then minus n square but minus x multiplied by summation when a summation is multiplying an independent variable which is x is going to give us what summation of x but when it multiplying constant is going to turn to n if you remember what we say at the beginning of the video so what is the next thing we're going to do is to expand this bracket we have what summation of x minus summation of xp which is equal to p multiplied by n square is what p n square or n square p then minus so p multiplied by summation of x is summation of what xp so what do we notice here this is minus sp this is minus sp so when it cross it's going to be positive positive and negative so this and this is going to cancel so we're left with our summation of x which is equal to p n square so what do we do remember we're looking for the value of p so we divide through by n also by n so that one of the n here will cancel this n so this place will remain only n p and remember that summation of x over n is the same as what x bar which is the mean which is equal to what p n or n p now the next thing we are going to do is to still divide by n because we are looking for the value of p so this is going to cancel this so p now will be equal to p now will be equal to what s bar over n so therefore p estimate is the same as what x bar over n so this is the likelihood of a binomial distribution the maximum likelihood of a binomial distribution thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more video like this